Set your cell phones away. I just need your focus. Thank 
Give me like one minute. As soon as I step off, you can talk. Testing, testing. Good morning. Welcome to the class of 2023 Springbrook High School Commencement Ceremony. My name is Mado Taklilu, the senior class treasurer. Graduation is a time that marks a very important milestone in our lives. This ceremony serves as a chance to come together as a community and celebrate a monumental achievement. On behalf of our principal, Ms. Valentine, and her awesome administration team, I would like to take this moment to communicate an important reminder about today's ceremony. Please refrain from standing up, obstructing the views of others to take photos, or walking out in the aisles. Your assistance in ensuring that all graduation participants and attendees conduct themselves in a positive, dignified, and respectful manner is greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance. Congratulations to all of the families here today and my fellow classmates.
please rise for the national anthem sung by our amazing Springboro Chorus. You may be seated. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome parents, guests, and fellow graduates. My name is Brianna Chavez, the Senior Class Social Events Coordinator. We will now begin our commencement ceremony. Today is a great day for the class of 2023. We are now going to begin our ceremony with some brief remarks and a reflection from our instructional leader, the principal of Springbrook High School, Ms. Stephanie Valentine. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Good morning. And thank you for that gracious introduction, Brianna. To be able to address this gathering here today is one of the great honors of my life. On behalf of my administration, our faculty and staff, I welcome all our parents, caregivers, families, friends, and special guests to the Springbrook High School Class of 2023 Commencement Ceremony. Today, we celebrate the graduating class of 2023 and honor our 385 graduates. Now, graduates, in Springbrook fashion, we are going to greet one another. Springbrook! Thank you. I would like to begin our program by welcoming and recognizing our distinguished guests who have joined us in today's celebration of Springbrook's class of 2023. As I call your name, please stand and be recognized for your invaluable contribution to our graduates' experience. We are honored to have several guests who work tirelessly on behalf 
of all our students and families in the Montgomery County Public School System and have joined us in our graduation ceremony today. We have joining us the Honorable Brenda Wolf, member of the Montgomery County Public Schools Board of Education. We also have joining us Dr. McNeefa McKnight, Superintendent of Montgomery County Public Schools. Next, I would also like to thank our commencement speaker and Springbrook alum from the class of 2004, Mr. Fowler and Campbell. In addition to our system leaders and invited guests, I would like to thank Ms. Maria Peterson, senior class sponsor and world language teacher. Ms. Peterson has served as the 2023 class sponsor for two years. Thank you for your commitment and dedication to the class of 2023. Our students are the best and the brightest. And on stage today, we have our student leaders who, in addition to being exceptional students, have been outstanding leaders. Please join me in acknowledging our outstanding leaders representing the class of 2023, Ms. Madot Akilu, <laughs> Senior Class Treasurer. Please remain standing for me. Ms. Brianna Chavez, <laughs> Senior Class Social Events Coordinator. Ms. Chloe Chappelle, Senior Class Secretary, Ms. Aleem Kasim. <laughs> Senior Class President, Ms. Rahel Taferi. <laughs> Senior Class Vice President, and Ms. An Mi Lee. <laughs> Student Government Association President. I would also like to acknowledge and thank my amazing administrative team for their unwavering support. Mr. John Weinchill, 12th grade administrator. Mr. Francis Jima, 11th grade administrator. Miss Adrian Charlie, 10th grade administrator. Miss Catherine Thompson, 9th grade administrator. Miss Susan Katz, School Business Administrator. Thank you all for being a part of our commencement ceremony today. You may be seated. I am excited to have by my side today my colleagues from the Springbrook Cluster. These visionary leaders committed to the Springbrook community and by working together at the various levels of elementary, middle, and high school have provided an educational experience that prepares our students to realize their gifts and talents as well as their dreams and aspirations. Please stand and remain standing as I acknowledge you for your foundational contributions to our graduates. Dr. Stacy Ashton, Principal of Burt Mills Elementary. Miss Virginia De Los Santos, Principal of White Oak Middle School. 
Dr. Norman Coleman, principal of Francis Scott Key Middle School. You may be seated. And from Springbrook High School, contributing to our commencement ceremony today, I would like to recognize Mr. Wyman Jones, instrumental music director. Mr. Jones will be retiring this year after 37 years in education. And 23 years to the Springbrook community. I'd also like to recognize Miss Amy Harrison, our choral music director. And finally, I would be remiss if I did not recognize Miss Stephanie Jones, also known as Miss Wonderful who will be retiring after 45 years in education. And 38 years of service. Did I say 38? 38 years of service to the Springbrook community. Thank you for assisting us in celebrating this momentous occasion today. You may be seated. Now, I would like to honor and acknowledge the heart and soul of our school who exude that blue devil pride, the incomparable Springbrook High School faculty and staff. Please stand wherever you are, all over the building. I recognize, I recognize you for your dedication to our students and school community. Your commitment has assured that our students have excelled at high levels and are college and career ready. Thank you for your presence today. You may be seated. <laughs> to our parents, caregivers, and families, please stand. You, you are to be commended for your tireless and unwavering efforts we thank you for your support. And because of you, we have this amazing group of sensitive, caring, and civic-minded young people who care about humanity and the global world. Thank you. You may be seated. To the class of 2023, today we celebrate you. I am honored and proud to have served as your high school principal and wish you only the best as you begin the next chapter of your life. It is important that we celebrate the many accomplishments of this class. Let me give you a few figures. We have one National Merit Scholar, one Presidential Scholar, one Ripple of Kindness Scholar, 16 Rails and O'Neill Scholars, 20 Governor's Merit Scholars, 75 Certificate of Meritorious Service Students, 23 AP Scholars, eight 
AP scholars with honors, five AP scholars with distinction, 36 seniors recognized with the Maryland Seal of Biliteracy, 17 International Baccalaureate Program, Diploma Program graduates, 267 seniors receiving International Baccalaureate certificates, Eight seniors receiving child development completers. Two seniors completing hospitality management completers. 58 seniors receiving Academy of Information Technology completers. 30 seniors receiving Project Lead the Way completers. Five students in the Early College Access Program and 12 dual enrollment program students. In addition to our achievements in the classroom, the class of 2023 has demonstrated its athletic prowess on the field and on the court. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody has a rock. Y'all finish it, y'all finish it. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you. Now, let's talk about that athletic prowess. Our Blue Devils are field hockey regional champions. Boys soccer regional champions. We are repeat state champions in the girls four by 400 meter indoor track relay. We are division champions and county finalists the first time in Springbrook High School history for co-ed volleyball. For track and field, the girls team were division champions They were also MCPS County champions, beating all 24 schools in the district and regional champions as well. And as a result of all of those accomplishments, 12 athletes seated before us today have signed to athletic scholarships in the fall. The class of 2023, you have been offered more than 3 million scholarships. $3 million in scholarships. Graduates, I am very proud of your commitment to service as well. As a class, you have earned a total of 49,131 student service learning hours collectively. Also, nine of our graduates are going on to serve and protect our country in the armed services. Class of 2023, please stand. Honored guests, faculty, staff, and families, please give them a rousing round of applause. Applause. 
All of you are to be commended for your accomplishments. Please be seated. As you begin your next journey, I'd like to share some advice. As you know, some of the best advice comes from, well, Netflix. Now, patience, determination, and grit have led you to this point. And when I think about those attributes, I am compelled to talk to you about one of my favorite shows, The Bridgertons. I am indeed talking about one of the top Netflix shows that has now released a prequel entitled Queen Charlotte, A Bridgerton Story. Young Queen Charlotte, the protagonist, also embodies the same key attributes. Let's jump right in. I'm talking about the show's brilliant writer right now, Shonda Rhimes. Rhimes is interesting in that she is a professed introvert. Yes, she uses her love of storytelling and character development as a way to engage audiences through a provocative historical lens. Shonda Rhimes' historical fiction streaming television series follows young Queen Charlotte, believed to be of African descent, and her marriage to King George III of England. Their epic love story transforms high society, also known as the era of London's ton, in this Bridgerton universe. Blue Devils, you will soon leave home, and your world will shift and expand just like young Queen Charlotte's. In the fall, when you're going to college, heading for basic training, or beginning your new career, you will step into a new environment and learn that you are not or were not the only high school captain of a sports team, not the only class president, not the only member of mock trial, not the only athlete to have competed and won at state champions. You will suddenly be in a world filled with other high achievers. Now, this does not mean that you should become withdrawn or intimidated. No, that's not what it means. Rather, this means that you soon to be Springbrook alum are destined to do more. Something greater, just like young Queen Charlotte. But back to the show. Here we go. I've watched every episode, which is definitely difficult to do with the demands of being a high school principal. But guess what? You got to set your priorities, right? And so I'm going to talk to you about some key priorities that you have to set as you embark upon your next journey. Bridgerton lesson number one. Make the most of your resources. Young Queen Charlotte sometimes doubted herself and did not think that she was enough. But her older brother had prepared her to reign. As her confidence grew and she became more comfortable, she quickly began to use her resources. Young Queen Charlotte asked lots of questions, formed relationships with trusted and loyal friends and made alliances. First know that you are prepared, class of 2023. 
This school, your home, for four years has been your shelter, your safe haven for trials, attempts, and failures. But it has also been a place that has illuminated your talents and strengths and helped guide, develop, and provided you opportunities and access to lead. Here at Springbrook, you have tried on your new self a few times. But as you begin this new chapter, just like young Queen Charlotte, it will be important for you to ask plenty of questions, find positive friend groups, focus on achieving, and use strategies like relying on your calendars for due dates, you know those due dates, and checking your emails two times a day. The main point here is use your resources. Did I tell you guys I love this show? Huh. Bridgerton lesson number two. Know your strengths. Young Queen Charlotte was a problem solver, and she took the initiative and did not wait for someone to tell her what to do. She knew her strengths. In this place, Springbrook High School, you have acquired habits of reading, reasoning, questioning, and thinking critically. These acquired skills will shape how you will navigate the world. These acquired skills will shape how you navigate the world and reach your dreams. Living our dreams, living our dreams, living our dreams. Ooh. We're living our dreams. We're living our dreams. Ooh. Ooh. We gotta stay tuned, cause there's more to see. Unbreakable. Through the technical difficulty, unbreakable, we might have to take a break, so we'll be back next week singing this love is, is unbreakable. Just like young Queen Charlotte, you too must know how to employ your strengths in order to reach your dreams. You have a skill set to problem solve, young people. Any situation you encounter, be brave, be bold. That's who problem solvers are. Know that your strong points and forte set you apart and help you stand out from the masses. Final Bridgerton lesson number three. This lesson focuses on playing the long game. You've probably gleaned that there are various obstacles in the form of antagonists that young Queen Charlotte has to mitigate through her reign over her subjects. She exists in community and conflict. Some of the stubbles, stumbles that you have encountered at school, you will find in real life. As the young people say, facts. Similar challenges will present themselves in the form of individuals that you thought had your best interests at heart. However, you will soon realize that some are cunning, self-serving, and manipulative. 
They want to advance themselves at your expense. In the Netflix story, the audience quickly learns that young Queen Charlotte must learn how to use the various players in her inner sphere to help advance her work in London's community. Similarly, as young adults, you will learn that this game is about existing in both the intersection of community and conflict. You will need to build alliances, young people. Remain self-assured. Learn the art of disagreeing without being disagreeable. And be open and reflective so you may see things from the perspectives of others. If you find yourself feeling alone, remember we are always in community. You have fortified relationships with friends who have supported you along the way, friends and families. Be sure to reach back and stay connected to those relationships. Class of 2023, it is your time to transform the world. Find time to enjoy the people and things you love. Utilize your resources and play to your strengths while keeping in community. Just like young Queen Charlotte, these essential attributes, patience, determination, and grit are the critical fibers that you will need to carve your niche and make an indelible impact on the world. Class of 2023, it is your time. Go forth and transform the world. And now, we will hear remarks from Ann Mealy, our Student Government Association President. And next, we will hear a rendition of Lift Every Voice and Sing, sung by our wonderful Springbrook High School Choir, followed by our final reflection from our Senior Class Secretary, Chloe Chappelle. Thank you. Good morning, honorable guests, teachers, staff, 
families, and my fellow classmates. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge everyone who made this possible. Thank you administrators and teachers for working tremendously hard to keep us on track. Thank you counselors for always supporting us through the best and worst times. Thank you building services, security, and other staff for ensuring our safety in school. And thank you families and friends for your endless love and support. Not many people know that I went to Silver Spring International Middle School along with three other students graduating here today. I didn't meet half of you until junior year as most of you went to Key, White Oak, or Banneker. But it doesn't matter if the people next to you are the ones you learned your ABCs or read Dr. Seuss books with. What matters is that we are all here together, to walk across the stage together, to turn our tassels together, and to begin our futures together. Today marks the end of four years of hardships and triumphs. More specifically, the end of learning a push over Zoom, the end of finding an open parking spot in the morning, and the end of all the all-nighters I have pulled for Dr. Scott's class. Even through these hardships, let's not forget about the field hockey and soccer regional championships. The third place trophy the Latin dance team brought home from MCPS's annual Latin dance competition. <laughs> and the numerous students who received thousands of dollars in scholarships this year. Graduating from high school can be a bittersweet experience. Some of you are pursuing post-secondary education. Some of you are heading to the workforce or military. Some of you might be taking a break. Some of you are the first ones in your family to graduate high school. Being here today is a great accomplishment in itself, and I want to remind you all that no matter what you are doing or where you are going, you have already completed the first step. I know you've all heard this somewhere before, but I want to say it once more. Don't let others stop you from reaching your full potential. Now is the time to be adventurous, be proactive, and be fearless. You must strive for excellence in all your endeavors, big or small, because you are the only one in charge of your life. If Springbrook has taught me anything, it's that there are opportunities to be great everywhere you look. Four years ago, I walked into Springbrook knowing a handful of people, but now I'm giving a speech on graduation day in front of hundreds. The reason why I'm up here is because I took the chance to represent you all on the SGA for the past four years. So take your chances, regardless of the outcome, and don't be afraid to show the world what you are capable of. As you follow your life's calling, don't forget where you came from. Don't forget the flags hung up on our ceilings that represent our students, the year we all slept during our Zoom classes, the football games, spirit weeks, pep rallies, and homecomings the unpredictable air and conditioning in your classrooms, and that alarmingly realistic coyote on the field used to scare the geese away. You'll tell your friends and children these stories because they define who you are. High school is more than just a memory, it's also a life lesson. Those flags on our ceilings taught us the importance of culture and diversity. Those Zoom classes taught us how to adapt in a time of disorder. Those games and dances brought us closer together and created lifelong bonds. This might be the last time we see each other, so make sure to hug your friends tight today because you'll never know when the next time you'll be surrounded by the people you experience growth with. I love you guys, and I'm lucky to have called you my classmates and honored to have served as your student government president. Congratulations, Class of 2023.
Thank you, Principal Valentine, honorable guest, faculty, students, and families for coming today to celebrate this milestone in our lives. As our senior year came to a close, we experienced all the amazing moments, like prom, senior trip, and senior class superlatives. Many may think that senior superlatives are cute and funny, but for me, the results were a surprise. Why, you may ask? Because I received the superlative for senior class worst driver. Now, many of you sitting in the audience have ridden with me before, whether it was to a sports game, McDonald's, or even a ride home. And each of you can attest to the fact, maybe I hit a few curves, but I always got you from your starting point to your destination. High school was a long drive. We made it through the detour of COVID and the curves that came from online learning. We made it through the traffic caused by a few curves on the way. It might be hard to know where the road is leading. I know it is for me. And you might not think you're the best driver, but the journey is what's important. If you hit a curb, pause, and remember, you've hit curbs before, and you made it through. Don't give up, grab some Duncan, turn up your music, and keep driving. You can still make it to your destination. Your next journey is very scary to think about, but you are well equipped with the tools and knowledge to lead your life in the direction that you are headed. Just like our good friends Mater and Lightning McQueen said, life is a highway, I'm gonna ride it all night long. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023. Rahel, Rahel will now announce our guest speaker, Fallerin Campbell. Fallerin Campbell, whose name means walk with glory in Yoruba, was born February 27, 1986 to Mr. Festus Quasi Campbell and Tenny Campbell. He became a Blue Devil his sophomore year of high school as a transfer from Fairmont Heights High School in Prince George's County, Maryland. He quickly became an athletic standout as a member of the Springbrook Boys varsity basketball team, earning many accolades, breaking and holding several school all-time records and leading his team to the state championship game his senior year in 2004. His talents earned him an all-county and all-met first team acknowledgement. He now holds a well-deserved place in the Springbrook Hall of Fame for his endeavors. College proved to be another magical time for Fallen as he continued his athletic career with a full scholarship to George Mason University, where he was able to earn a starting position on the 2006 Final Four team. After graduating college, Fallerin was able to make a full-time career of his passion by playing professional basketball in seven countries over the next 13 years. His retirement came much in part because of the pandemic, but was right on time, as he was ready to make the transition back stateside to be with his wife and two, ch two children, one of which is a student currently at Springbrook. Fallerin has adapted to his role as assistant director to annual funds back at George Mason University, where he is and is helping out Springbrook as an assistant basketball coach for the boys varsity team. It goes without saying that he is committed to family and community. All right, all right. Distinguished faculty, honored guests, proud parents, and most importantly, Springbrook High School Class of 2023, congratulations. I am honored and grateful to gather with you all today to celebrate your achievements, your hard work, and your years of dedication that have brought you here today. Springbrook graduates will always hold a special place in my heart because I can remember my time standing where you are. We are all part of a community forever, Springbrook community. You obviously gained some wisdom and knowledge through your time in high school, but please 
Don't underestimate how valuable the connections you have made are. I'm a little nervous today. <laughs> if you ask me to play a high school state championship, state championship basketball game in front of 10,000 spectators, or an NCAA Final Four game in front of 80,000 fans, I'm comfortable with that. A commencement speech is a very serious affair and a different ball game. It's a strange feeling because I'm compelled to give you advice for what's to come and explain how you will go through so many emotions. No one wants to be here all day, and I'm not a philosopher. So in an effort to help you move, move along faster, here are some of my favorite reflections so far. As we stand here on the threshold of your future, I invite you to embrace a mindset that will shape your journey and the lives of those around you. It's a mindset of service, purpose, kindness, teamwork, and gratitude. My dear Blue Devils, I urge you to embrace the idea idea that there is always room to learn, to grow, to improve. Keep your mind open to new perspectives, but also quiet and still enough to hear your own ideas. An open mind has no limitations and can tap into the universe within you. During my time living in Europe, I was able to really understand this. I was given an amazing opportunity to pursue a career that allowed me to travel to several different countries and indulge in other cultures. Adapting to a new environment provides an easy recipe for a growth mindset. No matter what your next step is from here, one thing is an absolute for all of you graduating today. You cannot go back. Even if Ms. Valentine and Mr. Wineshell wanted to keep you, they couldn't. <laughs> You've reached a major milestone that requires more space in your environment to grow, and Springbrook needs more, more space for those that will walk behind you. Today signifies your completion of a major step of life, and my biggest hope for you, all of you, is that many of your days are like this. My wish for you that you never stop growing and learning. I'm excited to actually know some of you personally and bear, some, bear witness to your evolution. In a, in a society that values individual success above all else, I challenge you to find your personal purpose through service to others. Seek out ways to make positive impact on the lives of your peers. Your impact to this communicate, community will translate to the world at large. And I would like to thank you in advance for all the good I know you would do. For every record I hold as a Hall of Fame athlete at Springbrook, there's a list of people I could thank for how they participated in my success. In my role as a father and as a husband, I appreciate the lesson even more. I want to participate in as much of my family's success as possible. Greatness is not exclusively measured by what you accomplish to, for yourself. You have to not acknowledge the impact you have on the lives of others. Service does not mean you do all the work and allow yourself to be abused. Service is the effort of emotion. Service is the effort and emotion you have the capacity to give. If you have, if you have it well within my, if I, if I have it well within my means, mentally, physically, emotionally, or financially, to support someone when they need help, I want to do that. Not just, because I would, not just because I hope someone would do the same for me, but really because it's the right thing to do. Kindness. I read a sign that said, it's simple, but not easy. Just be kind. When we talk about, be, when we talk about keeping kindness at the forefront of your actions, we really have to address the fact that we even need to remind ourselves to be kind in the first place. Why isn't it easy to be kind? Who knows? At least we know we can force our actions to make us think with kindness first. 
Small acts of kindness can have a ripple effect. Say something nice to someone and mean it. Smile or give a helping hand. The tiniest kind of act, the tiniest kind act has the ability to brighten someone's day, inspire them, and motivate them to spread kindness to others. Kindness costs nothing but can change everything. Choose to be kind even when it's not easy. My favorite and easiest lesson learned is to embrace the power of teamwork. No great accomplishment is achieved in isolation. I'm talking about real collaboration and cooperation. With teamwork, we have to listen and communicate and compromise. To this day, in my years at Springbrook, I worked on two of the best teams I have ever been a part of. One was a basketball team, and the other was the, is the relationship with my wife, who I met at Springbrook. <laughs> it's very possible that you have built a relationship with other Blue Devils who have had an impact on your life and that you have identified as being on your team. It could be people from actual sports team, club, or people that contribute to your life in a positive way. No matter what the relationship is, surround yourself with people who inspire you and challenge you. Together, you will achieve so much more than you could, you could alone. I want to reiterate that this will be your community forever. Whenever you hear Springbrook from now on, you will feel obligated to tune into where, to what you hear next. You are always a Blue Devil. My last note to you as, I, as you take off in pursuit of your dreams is that gratitude is a powerful force that fuels happiness, resilience, and success. I want to say that again. Gratitude is a powerful force that fuels happiness, resilience, and success. Take a moment each day to express the gratitude for the opportunity you've been given. Somewhere there is someone wishing they, they had the chance you had. Express gratitude to, to excuse me. Express gratitude to su support you. I'm sorry. Express gratitude for your support you received. There's at least one person, other than family, you met during your your time at Springbrook, that has supported you. Lastly, express gratitude for lessons you've learned. When you all gather for your five-year class reunion, and then your 10-year class reunion, I hope you have moments you will forever be grateful for that you will share. You might have been in a rush to grow up these past four years, but I hope you, have, I hope you are grateful to have had the time. Gratitude will, gratitude will keep you grounded, humble, and appreciative of the journey that you're on. As you step into the world beyond high school walls, remember that you are capable of greatness. Show up every day and give what you can. Embrace challenges and opportunities for growth. Persevere in the face of adversity. And have faith in your abilities because you are a blue devil. I love Springbrook for imprinting on my mind, expect, believe, and achieve. When you know your wildest dreams can come true, the unrequired work necessary to give, get there faster feels like a joy. Remember to enjoy the process. Class of 2023, today marks the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. As you go forth, carry with you the values of service, purpose, kindness, teamwork, and gratitude. May your journey be filled with meaning, joy, and fulfillment. The world awaits your unique contributions and needs your compassion. We are all excited to see where, you, where potential takes you. Congratulations once again, and may you make a positive, lasting impact on the world. Thank you.
Before we shift into the next segment of the program, I wanted to acknowledge Mr. Ian Carpency. <laughs> Mr. Carpency is our media uh, technician at our school, and he's like our tech guru. We have, a, we have two of them. Um, and what I want to share is today, we are the first school in Montgomery County public schools to be using this jumbotron. So I said to Mr. Carpency, hey, can we make this happen? I'd like us to be able to, to stream our speakers. And what did he do? So not only did he make this a, make this a reality, we also, I think, have another school here supporting Mr. Carpency, and they plan to then <laughs> do the same thing this afternoon. But I just wanted to acknowledge him um, for, for accomplishing this feat. Thank you so much. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty and staff of Springbrook High School, I recommend to you the members of the class of 2023 as qualified candidates for the State of Maryland Diploma. Good morning, Springbrook. Now, I told Miss Valentine she didn't think I drove all the way from Silver Spring not to have anything to say. So before we get to that, I want to let you know that I know that uh, today is very special for each one of you, and I'm so honored to be here with you this morning. I also bring you greetings on behalf of the Board of Education. Graduation is one of our favorite times of the year because this is what we live for, to see the success of our students. So before I go on, I want to give you a little bit of advice. I know you won't remember it 20 years from now, but what you will remember is the teacher that never gave up on you, even when you wanted to give up on yourself. You will remember that team, cast, club, or group that laughed with you. You'll remember the pride on the faces of your parents, grandparents, uncles, godparents, teachers, front office staff, and the adults who have been cheerleading you on throughout the years. Those memories you will take with you. But today is not just a special day for you, but for your teachers and families too. You know, when we graduated the class of 2020, we thought that they were the most affected by COVID. But you know what I always thought? I thought that the class of 2023 was because you were freshmen then. But you know what? Your teachers pivoted and they did what they had to do. Their heroic efforts made sure that you had what you needed to walk across the stage today. So let's give them a hand. And your families, you know, they woke up early. I know many of you forgot lunch. They brought lunch to school. They helped with homework. And they provided the support you need. So let's also give all the parents here a hand. You know, pandemics don't happen every day. So we have learned to appreciate the little things in life as a result. So my advice to you is to keep moving forward. You have known dark times and you've seen them end. And you've known the power of perseverance. But one thing you may or may not have known up until this point is failure. And you will have failure at some point in your life. Hopefully you have not had to experience it. And when you do experience it, know that you have to get back up on that horse. And I'm gonna give you a little story about myself so that when you do reach that challenge, you'll think about this and know that you can overcome it. 
I am a civil rights lawyer by training and worked in some very high-profile jobs during that. But you know, to become a lawyer, you have to pass the bar exam. The first time I took the bar exam, I failed the bar exam by one point. One point. Can you imagine how devastated I was because I'd never failed anything else? But you know what? I rose from that. I learned from that. And that's what you need to do from failure. So today, I want to congratulate you, class of 2023. You did it. Now, the state of Maryland gives me some magic words that I must say over graduation. So let me just find them right here. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Education of Montgomery County under the laws of the state of Maryland, I do now award diplomas or certificates evidencing the satisfactory completion of prescribed courses of study to the students of Springbrook High School who were recommended for graduation by the faculty of this school in receiving this diploma or certificate, each of you is entitled to all the privileges and honors accorded graduates of a high school accredited by the Maryland State Department of Education. Hello. Buenas. Buenos días, estimados padres de familia. Ahora vamos a empezar. Mado Aquilu, Brianna Chavez, Anmi Lee, Chloe Chappelle, Rahel Teferi, Ulem Kusim. Lia Gonzalez Robles, Rina Kushner, Mercy OKK, Peace Oladuni, Blen Zevdu, Ian Bayaka. Joshua Green, Tavian Hall, Sasha Abarca, Katerin Abarca Ramirez, Adira Abayomi Cole, Melat Abera. Meron Abera. I know you. Khadija Abubakar. 
Iman Abubakar, Zephaniah Aki, A Zephaniah Akable, excuse me, Jeroy Acosta Mondragon, Queen Adomadon, Pharrell Afana, Winnie Agbedi, Elijah Aklamanu, Avroza Akhtar, Just Love Alabi, Samret Alilen, Jason Alfaro, Michael Alvarado, Brian Alvarado Domingo, Carlos Alvarado Orellana, Asma Aman, Amanda Umanku, Ruth Amari, Dennis Amaya, Stephen Amaya Membreno, Miles Ambrose, Maya Ambrose, Lakela Amua, Femnet Andarj, Bryce Araujo, Dylan Argueta Ticas, Timnit Atakilt. Caleb Atiso, Anwar Atufa, Hayden Atiko, Farouk Ayelu, Mamadou Baji, Vanua Baleka Savu, Rachel Banks. Ruse Berlin Bapticon, Imran Baptiste, Ismael Baptiste, Nina Baptiste, Natalie Barahona, Stacy Benavides, Ila Benson, Malik Bayai, Kedus Besa. Labib Buyan, Samuel Biru. <laughs> Thank you, Han. Sian Budu, Desiree Braddock, Ashley Bravo, <gasps> Renato Briseno. Kevin Brioso Hernandez. Yaneti Brito. Sumara Brown. Jemaya Buchanan. Renee Buford. Carlitos Cabrera de León, Ángela Carrasquillo, José Castellón Martínez, Jorge Castellón Martínez, Carlos Castellón Quiñones, Ángelo Angelo Ceballos, Kevin Seren, Kenya Chacón, Lindsay Chavez, Josue Chavez Cruz, Brandon Chin, Matthew Chin, Jose Cifuentes de Leon, 
Shelly Ciprian. Tejan Clark. Paige Collins. Sofian Kumpare. Brittany Contrera Garcia. Giovanni Cook. Jonathan Cornejo Castillo. Geraldi Caminero. Daís Costa. Joyta Costa. Snaya Costa. Joshua Crawford. Keith Daly. Amani Davies. Gianni Davies. Jose De Leon. Oh, my personal favorite. Alvin Dejebe. Christine De La Cruz Ellis. Varesh Diador. Vladimir Derogius. Maktar Dia. Mohamed Diallo. Alonzo Dowdy. Camden Doxy Salazar. Lensa Dugasu. Abel Duran. Christopher Edzang. Nancy Ekpo. Rahama and the show. I know you. Kemhika and Weruto. Salem Isheta. I know you. Muhtala Fadala. Gregory Flores. Diana Franco Sarabia. Rudolf Francois. Oh my goodness. Ron Francese. Anthony Freen. Anthony Freeney. Eslin Fuentes Amaya. Alana Fulcar. Anthony Garcia, David Garcia, Gabriela Garcia, I know this guy, Alexander Garcia Cruz, hey, Owen Garcia Mendez, I know this guy, Jonathan Gashu, let's go Yanni, Taikim Masweetman, Danny Badai, I'm sorry. Danny Badibo. Hey, honey. Raban Gebremedin. Neha George. Jesse Gansa. Miracle Gillespie. Jefferson Hiron Tizandi. Liam Godwin. Kidroy Ridoy. Aida Gonzalez. Angelica Gonzalez Guerrero. Jose Gonzalez Ramos. I know this guy. Zaki Goodman. Sofia Goro, Gorozdos, Has, Jasmine Gradford, Gavin Graham, Carlos Guevara, Seren Bue, I know you, Christian Guzman Argueta, Garnet 
Jawasi. Yvette Jemphy. Joel Haftel. Ezra Hailu. Mohammed Hassan. Etana Hera. Beyut Hembrarom. Iverson Enrique Flores. Anthony Hernandez. Jacqueline Hernandez. Juliana Hernandez. Oscar Hernandez. Katara Hernandez. Andre Hill. Nuwami Hussein. Some Tochu Ku Ibe Quat. Yasin Ibrahim. Jatwan Ingram. Joshua Inthavong Aletsok. Emilio, Emilio Jaramillo. Damar Jarrett. Desir Jean. Eve Jeffrey. Samuel John Jr. Kara Jones. Wilber Hoya. Ryan Cabot. Carol Cabore. Jason Caranja. Noella Kayambi. Mawata Keita. Caitlin Kennard. Musa Kalu. Rahua Kadane. Morgan Kimathi. Emmett Knuth. William Lantry. Orlando Lara Lobato. Guillermo Lario Soto. Hunter Lauri. Cristian Leiva Valenzuela. Luis Linares Martinez. Carol Lopez. Saul Lopez. Jocelyn Lopez Aguilar. Junior Lopez Gomez. Wendy Lopez Loayes. Evelyn Lopez Obando. Sara Abigail Lopez Gomez. Maria just tell um, love. Jennifer Lucas. Roberto Magallanes Hernandez. Oye Malu. Udil Matsud. Carla Márquez. Edward Martínez. Jexiel Martínez Moreno. 
Liliana Mathieu. Steve Mathieu. Mayeb McLean. Shangas McOliver. Riyam Membratu Ariyum. Carmen Medina Nolasco. Rosaline Mejia Santos. Hannah McCann. Nathan McCannon. Naim Membreno. Samantha Mendoza Mesa. Mikael Mengitus. Lucas Meseret. Christine Mesfon. Elsie Miguel Diaz. Jeremy Miranda. Jose Miranda. Deep Mystery. Jeremy Mitchell Peña. Cristina Molina. Mike Molly. Steven Mondal. Isaac Monge. Kimberly Nayeli Monji. Evelyn Ellerlyn Monroy Millian. Camilia Monte So. Francisco Monteagudo. David Montoya. Evelyn Morales Novoa. Miriam Moreno Yáñez. Tiunona Moore Morris. Simon Mosasgi. Malik Merayi He. Destiny Mukambu. Rohama. Rohama. Mulugeta, Omari Munisi, Ángel Martínez, Cristian Martínez, Evelyn Muñoz, London Musgrove, Oscar Navarrete Guzmán. Abel Nigash. Jonathan Engile. Charlie No. Stephanie Nguyen. Twivy. Nguyen, Tracy Nguyen, Abdul Noor, Noor Zacharias Nuralin, Brian Ordonez, Santos Ortiz Luna, Ashley Pinto, Padaro, Alessandra Palacios, Jose Palacios Crespin, Ashley Parada Maldonado, Cesar Nieto, Ronel 
Nangwe Kamsu. Caleb Mullen. Janice Nitag. Destiny Nwabwisi. Omari Ogbu. Agatu Okui. Otuatoi Oladoha Oladapo. Delery Orantes. Onish Patel. Pamela Peñalobo. Javier Pereira Fuentes. Carlos Pérez Amaya. Eduardo Pérez Zarate. Belinda Pérez Salvador. Diana Perla Argueta. Ethan Pham. Godgis Paraki. Dwayne Porter. Silvia Portillo Amaya. Kayla Portillo Baños. Karen Portillo Herrera. Dimitri Pogum. Daniel Quach. Henry Quach. Wilbur Rahul. Jeremiah Ramirez. Toby Ramos. Marcia Ramos Garcia. William Ramos Gutiel. Elisa Reed. Dennis Reyes. Eduardo Reyes Cardoza. Madison Rickman. Peter Rex. Diego Ríos Villatoro. Christopher Rivas. Devin Robinson. Kendall Robinson. Jonathan Rodas. Alan Rodriguez. Benjamin Rodriguez. Denis Romero. Silvia Romero. Gabriel Rowe. Darin Rosario. Stephanie Rosario. Steve Rosario. Tarango Rosario. Taisha St. Simon. Bilal Saki. Gloria Salazar Argueta. Edgar Sandoval. Gabriel Selpúlveda Mata. Matthew Santos Escobar. Nalari Shaw. Hermela Schimmels. Sanji C. Jessica Slattery. Tramia Tramaya Snow. Joycey Saab. Crystal Salmon. Ryan Somerville, Tatiana Soriano, Cesar Soto.
Soto. Ashley Soto Cabrera. Emmanuel Stem. Suambrita Suniel. Victor Tran. Kayla Tran. Haram Taye. Nathanis Taylor. Arnold Chermani. Yafet Tetla. Idon Sampson. Lydia Tespey. Arsema Pedros. Dave Tussle. Carly Thomas. Abdi Tolesa. Bia Tran. Michael Tran. Michelle Tran. Christian Trailer. Cassandra Trunk. Hannah Han Trunk. Benjamin Turner. Gabriela Ulloa. Jeffrey Umaña. Jennifer Umansor. Nathaniel Unicumara. Victoria, Victoria Uristegui. Jason Vallecillo Serrano. Alondra Vázquez. Linda Vázquez. Miguel Vázquez. Javier Velázquez. Brandon Velázquez Bonilla. Kelvin Ventura Rodríguez. Donna Bo. Jaden Williams. Kila Williams. Kyla Williams. Nura Williams. Sinclair Williams Ridley. Yoel Wolday. Rama Wolder Burton. Stephanie Workman. Manfira Wasgisa. Brian Shikara Lopez. Daniel Turenki. Jeremiah Yantri. Thomas Johannes. Gabriel Young. Angie Zamora Rivas. Miskai Salalem. Dagma with Samini. Samini. Meron Sinabu. Nanto Maxim Yayola. Salem 
you too. This one works. Yeah. Yeah, like a little bit right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. Hello, my name is Alev Kasim. It has been an honor and a privilege to have served as this year's senior class president. At this time, we will perform the turning of the tassel, which signifies that you have received your high school diploma. Will the class of 2023 please rise? Please, oh. Please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap. You are officially a Springbrook High School graduate. Congratulations. Graduates, graduates of the class of 2023, this concludes the class of 2023 commencement ceremony. We ask. We ask that the audience please remain seated until all graduates exit the arena. We will now listen to our talented school band as the graduates recess and receive their diplomas on the other side. Thank you, Springbrook families, for being a fantastic audience. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2023. 